So first up, it wasn't particularly a fundraiser, but it was a commemoration evening for the um, refuge to get together with their supporters, with the organisation itself and other domestic violence organisations in Dunedin to commemorate the women that have passed through the refuge. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't do the candles on the harbour because of the weather, but um, it just turned into an open floor night. We had a couple of founding members there who shared some stories, which was uh, pretty inspiring to hear how far we've come. And then up next we had a bake sale, which was held at the hospital, which was really successful. We've run there's um, really generous and all the cafes donated um, food for the bake sale. And then that night we had a quiz night at the bog, which was a, a bit of fun. It's quite nice to target students for a little bit. And so that was hosted by one of the law lecturers. It was a good night. And then on Saturday we had the nationwide um, street collection. So that happens with refuges all around the country and we had I think up to about 80 volunteers giving up an hour and a half of their time and then finally we've just had on Friday night the auction evening which was a huge success we had auctioneers from Ray White we had Paul Ego as our MC and we had about 150 people attending which was great. <laughs> Last year we raised just under $20,000 from all the events so our aim was to beat that and we would be pretty excited if we could make it to the $20,000 mark so to be almost at the 25 we we'll know once the final amount comes in but we're pretty excited by that. And who has been involved with the project? Um, it's all students, there's about 50 of us entirely so we're split up into the five different committees and we all just um, organised the events and then obviously we had the extra volunteers where we needed people for the collection or people to man the bake sale stand, that type of thing. Why do you feel it's important to support the refuge? Um, domestic violence is so prevalent in New Zealand, it really does affect every single person. I mean, it's in the news basically every day, there's a new story about it coming out, everyone knows someone who's affected by it, whether they know it or not. And uh, down here, the Dunedin Refuge is only funded about 65%. So for them to be able to continue the work that they do, we, we really need funding. So that's where we come in. <laughs>